So now it's time for the X30 Junior pre-final, and this is going to be an interesting one as we've got so many talented drivers making their way to the rolling laps. And we have an incredible grid of 34 of them who will battle away to become the winner of the first round of the 2018 IAMI X30 European Series in X30 Junior. And considering how tough it's been already this weekend, it's only going to get tougher from here, and the drivers know what's at stake. On pole position, it is Marty Boyer after two wins, after an absolutely fantastic run. And so he is hoping that there's going to be a little bit more from where that comes from. Two wins and a third place for Marty Boyer. Definitely give him pause to be happy, as well as his uh, qualifying pace. But the man who got the best out of qualifying, Georgi Dimitrov, is in this mix as well. Don't worry, he'll be fast and he'll be charging his way forward. It's Marty Boyer and Lewis Gilbert on the front row of the grid. The Spaniard and the Scotsman for the uh, Kids to Win and KR Sport teams representatively. Then it is Fusion Motorsports man from the Netherlands, Delano van Hoff, who is there in uh, third position on the grid. Alongside him is the Strawberry Racing man, Josh Rowledge of Great Britain on the second row. Esteban Masson for PKS, the Frenchman, is there in fifth position on the grid from Sam Belota of the Euro Karting team and they will take up the position on the third row. Uh, the fourth row is uh, Rimo Katapik of Estonia, who finds himself in uh, the inside line, alongside the Evolution driver, Zach Ripley of Great Britain. Dan Holland Racing's man, Alex Lloyd, who took a famous victory in the heats yesterday over Mari Boyer. Well, he's on the fifth row. Alongside him is the Moroccan uh, Suleiman Zanfali for the Lotus Racing Team. Here we go. X30 Junior pre-final. Marty Boyer and Lewis Gilbert on the front row. Delano van Hoff and Josh Rowledge on the second. Esteban Masson and Sam Balota on the third. From Rimo Kanabek and Zach Ripley. Then it's Alex Lloyd and Suleiman Zanfari. Kian Shields and Hugo Belderomov. Luca Lystra and William Nicolou. Enzo Julier and Josh Ratican From Kenoska Algra and Georgi Dimitrov. Cesar Gazzo and Erbelts Moa. Luke Preston and Victor Pardo, Jason Leung and Vyakaslev Volosyankin, Victor Sulan and Alicia Barrett, Maxi Meyer and Josh McLean, Eric Alanis Bosch and Alessandro Tudiska, Oli Pilka, Tom Levin, Helen Nerudini, and Jaiver Dadley. So this one's going to be interesting. 34 races, and all of these 34 are now locked in for the pre final and final. And as we battle away for position, it's going to be interesting to see who is going to emerge victorious. Marty Boyer has won two of his three heats, but beaten rather famously by Alex Lloyd in the final heat for him yesterday. But can he be beaten by anybody else? There's plenty of drivers around him who are close, and he knows that it's going to be tougher this time compared to anybody else. We've had a couple of offs on the formation lap, would you believe? There's a couple of drivers who have fallen a long way back. One of them is Helen and Nerudini, and the other is the 144 of Alessandro Tudisca, having fought their way into position in the B final earlier on, the second chance race, as it were. They are now struggling to make it back to the back of the queue. But Marty Boyer, that man for kids to win, the 24, the Spanish ace who won every single race he started in Valencia, is now going to have a much tougher mission on his hands because the Scotsman Lewis Gilbert for KR Sport has definitely acquitted himself in his new team very well indeed. So with him on the front row of the grid, Lewis Gilbert to the far side. He's already picked up a couple of victories in fine style in his heat. So Lewis Gilbert is definitely not one to trifle with. Marty Boyer is going to have to work very hard to beat him. On the inside line, Delano Van Toff has also managed to pick up a victory this weekend. Josh Rowledge in the, the second row has been Mr. Consistency for Strawberry Racing in Great Britain. I wonder if he's got what it takes to get the job done here in the pre-final. Then Esteban Masson with local knowledge. Sam Balota, the Belgian, has always been very strong and near the front. Rimo Kadapik of Estonia. Zach Ripley has been one of the feistier of the drivers in the grid. Alex Lloyd, determined as ever, and a race winner, victorious yesterday against Marty Boyer. And alongside him, the very talented Moroccan ace, Suleiman Zanfari, for the Lotus Racing Karts team. So here they go. Boyer, Gilbert, Van Hoff, Rowledge, Masson. Balota, Kanapik, Ripley, Lloyds, Anfadi, Shields, Belderomov, Lystra, Nicolo, and the rest of them 
It's going to be an interesting and fascinating battle. The pre-final, the precursor to who will take the biggest trophy home. Away we go. Now, cracking start from the far side. Boyer's going to get the lead in the jump in the first corner. Delano Van Toff, not surprisingly, breaks into second place. Lewis Gilbert sorts himself into third. And there's a big shunt further back. That looks like one of the fusion cards and one of the FA racing cards have come together on the run to turn two. And it's another of the FA racing cards that's had to take avoiding action. So three of them down the back. It looks like one of the fusion cards has had the worst of it there. I'm not sure who it is that's not come through. We'll double check as they work their way around. But several drivers in the war zone already. And three of them very much out of luck with damaged carts. But Marty Boyer leads the way. Dylan Van Toff is in second place ahead of Lewis Gilbert and Josh Rowledge. The top four remain as they were. Esteban Masson is there in fifth position, no problem at all. So as the field continues on, Marty Boyer's got pressure from the Dutchman, Delano van Hoff, the Fusion driver, right there in second place, giving Marty Boyer a lot of under a lot of undertaking here. It's going to be a tough one as they come through, but Marty Boyer leads the way. Delano van Hoff in second. They're trying to get away from the rest of the field. So who is it that's dropped back? We'll find out. Delano's going straight for the lead on Marty Boyer, and he's through. Great move from Delano Van Hoff, and he now leads from Mari Boyer, Lewis Gilbert, and Josh Rowledge. Then it's Masson, Belota, Kadabic, Lloyd, Ripley, and Velda Romoff. Kian Shields 11th from Lystra, Julier. Now, who are the three drivers in difficulty? Oh, we've had two more come off up at turn two. Two more have come off the circuit at turn two. So we've had even more difficulties now, and one of them looks like Victor Sulan. So more problems, more damage, and more retirements. Alicia Barrett looks like she didn't even take up the start in the end. Jaivet Dadley hasn't come through in the 65. So we're dropping them like flies here already on the second lap of the pre-final. Well, I wonder if Alicia Barrett was one of the uh, drivers who came off badly on the first couple of corners. It's very tough to know how it's all going to work out. But this is incredible stuff. Delano Van Hoff is leading. Lewis Gilbert now second. Boyer's down to fourth behind Rowledge. Belota in fifth place. Masson in sixth. Then it's Lloyd, Kadapik, Ripley, Belda Romov, Lystra. Dimi uh, Dimi Dimitrov has come through into 12th place now in front of Kian Shields. Then Julier. And in 15th position, we have Zanfari. Ahead of Josh Ratican, Luke Preston, William Nicolou, Ken Oscar Algra, and Cesar Gazzo. That's your top 20. I'm just trying to see who it is that hasn't come through or is certainly a long way down from the back of the field as we've got several drivers who have fallen away. Now, we've got Jaivet Dadley missing. Maxi Myers a long way back. Victor Pardo's dropped back. Uh, so is Oli Pilka. Helen and Dini. Alanis Bosch hasn't come through. Several drivers in trouble. Kian Shields is dropping down the order, down to 16th position. He's had a couple of places taken off him. Marty Poyer's down to fourth behind Josh Rowledge. The battle, we did say it was going to be tough. It's tougher than ever before for Marty Boyer in 2018. Delano Van Toff for Fusion leads the way from Lewis Gilbert of KR Sport in second. And Lewis Gilbert is definitely not done. Marty Boyer comes through to third. He takes the place from Josh Rowledge. So Marty Boyer's through into P3. It's not over yet, and he knows it. Right, now I can see some of the drivers that are a little bit further back. I'm going to watch them as they come past me. Although Lewis Gilbert is going for the lead and he's going to take it. Yes, he does. Now, it's the carts that have dropped back are the 40 and the 64, the two FA racing carts. That, that is uh, Vyakastev Volosyankin, who's come off there. And so too, the 64. Now, that is Erbelt's Moa. So problems for them. Victor Sulan and Alicia Barrett have not come through either. So they are out of the action. But Lewis Gilbert leads the way. Great racing from him. Now that he's at the front, it's going to be very difficult for the two men behind, Delano Van Hoff and Marty Boyer, to get one over on him. Lewis Gilbert loves to run at the front, and he's doing a magnificent job of it right now. A quick check over the shoulder for Lewis Gilbert. Nothing more than that. But Delano Van Hoff is going to try and make the move. No, he doesn't. He hangs back. Marty Boyer's closing in. Rowledge, Belota, Lloyd up to 6th, Kadabic 7th, Ripley, Lystra, Dimitrov, Masson down to 11th now from Hugo Belderomov. Fastest lap of the race, Marty Boyer does a 62-6-3-2 in the bid to catch up with our two leaders. And Belota has made the move on Josh Rowledge as well. So Sam Belota, the Belgian, has moved further forward. 
Really interesting battle so far. Ratikin is currently leading the charge ahead of Zanfari and Pilka. Uh, sorry, ahead of uh, Nicolau. Then we have Julier. Preston 17th. Kean Shields down to 18th at the moment. Dimitrov makes the move on Lystra to 9th. And it looks to me as though we've had a couple of other changes. Up the inside, Delanovan. Toff makes a very late lunge past Lewis Gilbert into 14. But it's nevertheless successful. You're gonna love Delano Van Hoff for that. He is so good at those late overtaking maneuvers. He keeps everybody on the edge of their seats. And he's beautiful through that 14 turn. Now he's gonna get him back. Marty Boy is gonna follow as well. Marty Boyer squeezes Delano Van Toff. Van Toff goes back to the inside of Marty Boyer and they bang wheels, but Marty Boyer will not yield. And that's held up Sam Belota as well. And that's given Lewis Gilbert breathing space out in front. Gilbert's now got clear of Mari Boyer, but Marty Boyer really had to get his elbows out there. Resolute, you are not beating me. Now Rimo Kadabik's making up a few places. He gets one over on Alex Lloyd, up into sixth position. See what that uh, has done. It's a chain reaction down the field as Urbaltz Moir is going to be getting the warning flag. Now I wonder if they have judged that it was him who was the cause of that earlier incident. That could be the reason. Up the inside comes Lloyd. Lloyd makes the move for fifth on Rimo Kadabik. And Georgi Dimitrov is now behind Kadabik. So they're charging through quickly. Rowledge is down to eighth place now in front of Ripley, Lystra, Masson, Belota, Ratican, Nicolau, Zanfari, Preston, Julier. And the 60 is in there as well. Now that is Jason Leung, the Canadian. Oh, four wide for fourth position. Who's going to get there in the end? It's Lloyd. Lloyd just gets there in front of Kadabik. And the man in sixth position, Jordi Dimitrov. But Lota drops right the way down to seventh. Incredible battling. Dimitrov now trying to go for Kadapik. Alex Lloyd leads the charge, though, from fourth position downwards. What a comeback drive for Alex Lloyd. He is not done. But fourth place is exactly where he wants to be right now. He can go even further than that. It's three wide behind them. Watch that. Goodness me, that was close. We've got several drivers shuffling away, and Esteban Masso has got past both Lystra and Belderomov in one fell swoop. Tom Levin's charging through the field as well now, up to 20th on the back of Kean Shields. But the man who's made up the most progress is easily Georgi Dimitrov. He's made up 11 places, up to 6th place now. Gilbert leads, Marty Boyer second, Delano Van Hoff has just done the fastest lap of the race. A 62-163 gets him back onto the tail of Marty Boyer, and they're working together to close down Lewis Gilbert. So Lloyd, Kadabik, and Dimitrov, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Then it's Belota, Ripley, Rowledge, Masson, Lystra, Belderomov, Ratikan, Nikolau, Preston, Zanfari. Ken Oscar Alger in 17th place. Then it is Leung in front of Shields and Leben. Julier is 21st from Maxi Meyer, says Agazzo. Josh McLean in 24th position. Trying to look further back behind them. We've got Pilka, Pardo, uh, Jaiver Dadley, Alanis Bosch recovering. So too is Tudiska, Nerudini, Moa and uh, Vyakislakin. Marty Boyer trying to fend off Delano van Hoff at the moment with three laps to go at the end of this one. They're running out of time, but Lewis Gilbert might be able to put one over on Mari Boyer and Delano van Hoff here. He's definitely got the pace at the moment. Has he got the space? Well, I have a feeling that's about to disappear because Delano is working with Marty Boyer. And now he's going for the move on the inside into second place. And the fusion man from the Netherlands has got through in a second. Marty Boyer fights back. Don't even think about it, mate. I'm through. Wow, this European X30 series in the X30 Juniors has just turned the dial to 11. It's going to get amazing from here. Brilliant racing and a fantastic scrabble between these three for the victory. Gilbert, Van Hoff and Boyer. And if they keep squabbling, look back because Alex Lloyd is not far behind either. Dimitrov is getting onto him though. Kadapik is there in sixth place. Dimitrov tries to get past Alex Lloyd. Lloyd shuts the door. We're watching the top three. But Gilbert, Van Toff and Boya are stretching away. But have a look at this battle. We've got Lloyd, Dimitrov and Kadapik knows the tail. Gilbert is going defensive. Gilbert is defending. Surely it's a little bit too early to do that. He's just got to try and keep himself together. Oh, there's big contact behind! Big contact, that's Josh Rowley just come together with Alex Lloyd. No, not Lloyd, my apologies. But it's one of the evolution cards, I believe. That is the 36. So Ripley has come together with Josh Rowledge, and Rowledge is out. Rowledge is out of this race.
as Delano Van Hoff continues in front of Marty Boyer in second and third, and they close up on Lewis Gilbert. Gilbert's going defensive at turn six, but Josh Rowledge is out of the race. Yellow flags are going to be there at turn 15. But how Lewis Gilbert is staying in front is pretty incredible. He's still trying to look back this way and that way. He's holding fast. Marty Boyer might come around the outside of Delano Van Hoff. He's going to get the undercut. Gilbert shuts the door on Delano. Marty Boyer can't quite get through. Oh, this is getting feisty at the front. KR Sport, Fusion Motorsport, and kits to win, and Delano Van Toff is desperate to get past Lewis Gilbert, but he's not letting him through. Now Dimitrov goes up the inside of Kanapik further back, and Velota might get a chance to get past Kanapik on the undercut. But here we go, one more lap, and Lewis Gilbert is looking likely to win the pre-final, if he can just hang on. Now Delano Van Toff's gonna try and come through. Gilbert defends beautifully. Kanabik's having a go at Dimitrov further back, but Lloyd is clearing fourth place. Delano Van Toff makes the move on Boyer to hold him up. Great racing from these three. It's getting so close. It's getting so tight. Gilbert's still hanging on. Delano Van Toff hoping to get there. We've got more problems as Herod and Nerudini has come off at turn 15. Uh, sorry, turn 14, the same place that Rowledge went off. Herod and Nerudini is out of the race now as well. But the victors are coming through, and it's now a lead change. Delano Van Toff has come through past Lewis Gilbert. Gilbert has one more chance. Boyer has dropped back in the battle for the victory. Can Gilbert get Delano into the final couple of corners? He's going to try and set him up for 15. Delano's going to be ultra defensive off the turn. Can Gilbert get him on the switchback? Delano being defensive. They're going to come out of the final turn. Delano Van Toff is going to get the pre-final. He wins it from Gilbert. Boyer is third, fourth is Alex Lloyd, Dimitrov is fifth from Rimo Karapik and Luca Lystra, Belota in eighth place from Radican and Masson, Preston, Valderomov, Zanfari, Shields, Nicolo, Ripley, Leban, Meyer, Gazzo and Pilka. Well, Delano Van Hoff and Lewis Gilbert battling away to the victory. The fastest lap of the race, a 62-163 from Delano Van Hoff. But what a battle, what a race. And Delano Van Toff picks up his second win of the weekend, but this time it's the pre-final. That gives him pole position for the big one. Delano Van Toff crosses the line ahead of Lewis Gilbert and Marty Boyer with Alex Lloyd and Georgi Dimitrov in fourth and fifth. Rimo Kanapik is sixth from Luca Leister and Sam Balota, Josh Radican and Esteban Masson from Luke Preston and Hugo Valderomov in the top 12. 13th position, that is Suleiman Zanfari ahead of Kian Shields, Will Nicolou, Zach Ripley, Tom Levin, Maxi Meyer, Cesar Gazzo, and Oli Pilka from Enzo Julier, Victor Pardo, Josh McLean, and Alessandro Tudisca fighting their way back to the Providence. And then we have Eric Alanis Bosch, Jaive Dadley, Herbalt Smoa, Jakostev Olesiankin, Jason Leung, and a retirement, I'm afraid to say, for Helena Nerudini, Ken Oscar Algra, Josh Rowledge, and Victor Solan.